Isaiah chapter 6 I know some of you who say ah, I know that I know that's why it's there that's why it's there it says that in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord high and exalted seated on a throne and the train of his robe filled the temple above him were seraphim each with six wings with two wings they covered their faces with two they covered their feet with two they were flying and they were calling one another holy holy the lord mighty the whole earth is full of glory let's pray thank you father thank you lord god this morning father we thank you and appreciate you lord jesus just to be here to be alive and be in your presence that's the grace lord that you've given us you know coming into your house coming into sanctuary where there is everything we know everything that we are looking for everything that we want is right here this is right here father we thank you that you open our hearts my god that lord god even your word comes forth father we pray that lord god let nothing take away let nothing disturb this father we pray that you do not come back you empty in the name of jesus and right now i bind every spirit that is not of god that is contrary to the word of god in the name of jesus i come against the uh, demons that are anti-word of god right now we bind them with the chains in jesus mighty name father we thank you that you release your anointing you release your power over your people father god we know that lord we are thirsty we are hungry in the name of jesus father fill us today fill us oh god fill our hearts that we leave this place full fill, transform with your word in jesus name hallelujah amen amen glory to god amen okay <laughs> you know uh, the bible says you know uh, when it's your season when it is your your season Uh, it's your season and time nobody can stop that not even the devil if it's your season and it's your time nobody can what stop it hallelujah looking at I'm just looking at the times of Gideon time of Gideon I'm sure we all know about Gideon never thought that he was going to be a prophet never thought that he was going to be a judge he never thought that he was ever going to be a hallelujah yes he never you know but it happened one day one day just happened one day when the angel of the Lord came, greeted him. He says, Oh, men of Vela, mighty men of Vela. Just like that. And you know, Kidon was a very humble man, very fearful person, uh, who was just suffering from fear, being terrorized by this bed. 
you know the bible says he used to plant crop and the meat came come as so so afraid he was so afraid you know uh, but when he heard this it shocked him because they are in of hell and me no wrong he could even, he could even accept that see because of what of the way he because of how he went through difficult how he went through he how he was what but you know eh, that particular because that now God come to choose him pick him make him a leader this is entire and I believe it now now God here I mean even now might be your day where God is coming and saying hey woman of Bella men of Bella hmm? rise up he said go in the power I have given you go in the power I have given you and go and what go and free my people Israel from the oppression that it ends you know he, you know he still you know, he could not be he go away God God that's why God says there is nothing impossible there is nothing uh, difficult that God cannot do even in your life right now so the Bible says before you know I just want to cut the story before he don't and God say let's go and destroy the altar then you come see because God was not going to use when he still had the altar because he was worship Baal they were all worshiping Baal. They would worship Baal and then worship God in a hidden place. They were terrorized. You see, they were told not to worship God, but Baal, their God. So instead of you going to where I'm sending, let's go to God. Then you come. It did that. After it did that, hold them and in that area that come. Let's go for you know everyone, every man who was there ran Larry around. Bible says, you know, he came in power. 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 You see, the anointing was upon him. When he spoke, when he called them, they all ran. They were willing to listen. They were willing to take instruction to a very, very what? A nobody. A nobody, a nobody, a nobody. But he became great. He became a judge. 
he became a prophet did you but you look at where he came from look at where he came from look at where he came from look at where you come do you know that where you are going getting closer hallelujah getting closer glory to Jesus when we we look at Isaiah uh, in, in, in chapter 6 the Bible says uh, you see Isaiah was already a prophet during the time of Zion, King Zion, he was already what? But here, amazingly, here it says that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Hallelujah. When King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord. That means that all along, you could not see the Lord. He was in the house of God. But this but see God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have not even in the church who are busy in the church. You know uh, who are busy in turning in the church. Would God? Yeah, some of them are just, but they claim to know God. They don't know that they don't know God. And they are busy. Call themselves Christians. They are at the church every Sunday. See, they can do all, and yet they have never, never experienced even a touch on. Last week, I was preaching about uh, God said to me, "There's somebody here." You are standing in a dry place like in an island. It's dry and yet there's water surrounding you. This one, there's water. You are thirsty. You want to drink water and yet water is surrounding you. Hallelujah. In the church, the water is flush, is flowing in the church. Water is flowing, but you yourself, you are standing in a dry place. It's like a, Isaiah, right in presence, God, right in the presence. But what? Why? He was attracted by the king. Bible says, you know, he was related. King Uzziah. King Uzziah was a great man. He worshipped God. God blessed him was a sex hallelujah amen yes so this young man his eyes were there so sometimes you can worship a man and forget you're worshiping a man you think you're worshiping God but you're worshiping a man it's happening even in the church today 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible says, you know, when King died, the moment he died, Isaiah saw the Lord seated in the throne. Seated, angels around there. He says, wow. My God, this is God. All of a sudden, eh, his life changed. Something was what? Standing in front of closed eyes. Every hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's happening in the church. It is happening in the church. You see, unless that thing that is in front of you, that is blocking you, it dies. Then your eyes just see God. Your heart will be open to God. You begin to yield into the spirit. Because all what God wants is you to position yourself. You know, you got to position yourself in the right place where you prepare to receive. Right now, as I'm speaking, you need to position yourself. You need now to look at yourself to say, okay, is there anything I can kill today? Something is pulling you down. Something causes you not to pray. You are not the same person you used to be. You see, God is taking you. He wants to take you into a higher dimension. A higher dimension. But there is something that you need to kill first. That's why you are oppressed. That's why sometimes you don't feel yourself. Sometimes the joy is not there. Sometimes we focus more on problems on things that surround us we don't see God you cannot see God when you are in mix up you are mixed up now you are confused all, all you are doing now is, is my problem my problem and you get forget I don't know if there's someone here like that. But God is saying, position yourself. You see, uh, 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 when you watch soccer, I don't know if you are you are like me. You know, uh, I, I, I sometimes like watch soccer. Right? You find that in a team in order for a team to win huh? in order for the team to what win the game you see there are some players they play to entertain you see they're just entertaining the crowds but some of them were serious they position themselves that when the ball comes from there, if he gets it here, he's going to hit it and it's going to go inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Where are you positioning yourself? It's time, season. It is a season to receive. You know, our team saying what? Season. Of walking in greatness, season of walking in power, 
Mm. You need to position yourself. And see. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you know what killed the king? The king died. Why? Why did the king die? Why? Why did the king die? The king, the Bible says, the king became too proud. He came, he became what? Too proud. You know, Jesus spoke about pride. You know what pride do? Does Eh? Pride is an enemy can destroy you. The Bible says, you know, King Uzziah he started to involve himself with the work of priests. He wanted to go and offer incense in the temple, which was only restricted to the priests. Not for kings. This is where his sin started. This is how he sinned before God. So when he involved himself in the temple with the incense, the Bible says, he was inflicted leprosy on his forehead. And he became a leper. And for that matter, he was asked to, to isolate himself, not to mix. You see, leprosy, long ago, it was a disease that was dreaded, that was feared. They no cure for it. Today they can cure it. But before they could, it was contagious. If, if they, they just touch you, just to touch you, you are gone. So the king was not allowed to be in the parliament. Is it? <laughs> Sin can bring you down. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And what happened? He died. He died. When he died, Isaiah, hmm? Amen. You see, God moved the king to bring, you know, Isaiah. Because God has plans with Isaiah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is it that you need to kill? You see what? The Holy Spirit comes. Comes. It wants to enter inside. But then what happens? There's a blockage. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a blockage. So what do you need to do? Huh? You need to remove. You need to throw away things. You need to deal with your life in order for you to receive you need to what sometimes you see that sometimes people will not receive anything 
because they are being blocked you don't know that you are blocked you don't know that there are things that are blocking you, you, you touch something it's not working you try and do this it's not working you try and it's not working until you get rid of that thing so that you see the king see the, the hallelujah right now just start just look at the thing that come in your life the things that he hinders you you know them you know the things that hinders you you know the thing that you try to surrender but you find yourself you are still doing it that is your enemy whatever it is it's your enemy don't hold it get rid of it i don't know what it is get rid of my sister brother get rid of what the holy spirit the holy spirit wants to do something right now in your life the holy spirit is inviting you right now he wants to touch you he wants to touch you never like never never before the holy spirit wants you to come out here filled filled you come out here filled you can come out here drunk not with alcohol but with the holy ghost the holy ghost when you are filled with the holy ghost you know you, you carry the presence of god you carry the fire no demon can come near you when you get to where demons are they start to <coughs> yeah i see them sometimes you try to talk even witnessing you find they are, they are sleeping right in front of you start yawning you know when a demon you don't call it by name it will never leave the place it will never leave because you have not discovered you don't know and it knows that you don't know that a demon can hide behind the finger yes you can miss it and think that you have delivered that person until you mention its name once you expose it are finished you win some of them when they are going they tell you that ah i'm going I'm sorry and so. Oh. Yes, yeah, go. Jesus is here now. Hallelujah. Jesus is taken over. Glory to God. Glory to God. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. What is it that always pull you down? You sometimes you are up, then you go down. Sometimes you are excited suddenly the balloon is gone but it is that thing it is that what thing that is blocking you hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus you know the holy spirit has work to do now the holy spirit wants to work in you now hallelujah the holy spirit wants to break those chains now that are binding you that's why you are failing to stand glory to god glory to god you are going to be loosed today
you are going to be set free today it is a season and the time tell somebody next to you say it is my season yes it's your season hallelujah hallelujah glory to you want to walk in power this season tell that thing kick it out hallelujah hallelujah because the devil will never let you alone he will never let you alone until you rise up and say hey enough devil get out kick the devil today glory to God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I just feel that somebody is troubled. Somebody you are troubled. Sometimes, you know, uh, you can have a problem of your own where you can not even share other. Sometimes the devil will put you in that place where he will keep you and torture you. Because you are not going to confess that as long as you are not going to confess that you are going to live in bondage I don't know if you are that person here I don't know you know there are people a secret end up destroying you hallelujah I am telling you because the devil doesn't want to be exposed, is it? So he'll keep you there. Say, ah, stay here. You're okay here. But it's eating you. It's like a cancer. It will eat you slowly, 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 squeezing you. See, it's a demon of witchcraft. It's a demon, a python. You know a python, what it does? It sucks you. It milks you. slowly slowly you know when it's a python you know uh, get grips of you when you breathe eh? the moment you breathe tighten you breathe tightens you breathe until you are dead somebody somebody you are in that Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You, you, you need to, to look at your life. You need to look at your life. You need to look at your life. You need to prepare. You need now to stand and position yourself. To say okay Lord I am here. I am going to stand here. I am not going to miss. I am not going to miss. I'm not missing you. Who's that somebody? Who's that somebody? You, you, you know, God wants to set you free. God wants to increase what you already have. Hallelujah. It's not enough. Maybe you think it's enough, you're okay. No. God wants to increase. Because he's a God of increase. He's a God of increase. Glory to Jesus. Because there's a purpose why he wants to increase. He wants to fill you. There's a purpose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask you to stand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Lord God. Thank you, Father. You know where, 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 you, where you are standing? If you start praying, say, God, reveal. Reveal to me. Reveal to me. Reveal to me the things that are eating me up. You need to command those things to die. Command it to die. Whatever it is, just command it to die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. O Shabakaha. Kira Babashi Kababa Shotorobo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, God is saying that, you know, if you don't get rid of it, it's going to destroy you. Many, many people have been destroyed. Some of them are not in church anymore. Some of them are in sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's time that you cry and say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. It doesn't matter what you think. Maybe you think you are a nobody. Maybe you think that, you know, God cannot do anything. Let me tell you. You remember a man, that man that was uh, a, a beautiful cat. That man was standing by the door of the temple. He was crippled. But he was begging all the time. He was begging. People who go into the temple and he begs. Do you know? He was right at the temple where he could just walk inside and get prayed for. But he could not go. He decided that he should what? Continue to beg. He was close to God. He was close, but he needed to be closer. 